What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 22 of On Shape. And I'm taking my creativeness right here uh, from Corey Duzan. Did a similar video with this, uh, but with uh, Inventor. And then also uh, at the end of one of the activities on that new IED curriculum, the Going Beyond portion, uh, it has students creating a uh, isometric view using two different letters. And I thought, what? It would be amazing. Uh, to have students create these using Onshape uh, much more quickly than trying to do the two letters, uh, just drawing them out, because it can get a little confusing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create this part uh, using two, your two initials. So you, you can see the front, it's got my letter A, and then off to the side, it's got W for my initials. So uh, this is going to look a little different to you, um, because your initials hopefully are a little bit different. If they're the exact same, then you get the easy way out. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the plus sign, let's create part studio, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to create a block that we're going to whittle or take away or use some subtractive modeling for uh, our initials. So I'm just going to make a rectangular block here that is, you know, let's go ahead and dimension this. Let's make it a 5 inch by, hit enter, click again. 5 inch block, and then we hit the green check mark. Okay, so let's go ahead and extrude this up on 5 inches. And there we go, we got step 1 of 3 done. Now, based on your initials, you will have to change the dimensions here, but I intentionally did this where I'm going to show how I change my dimensions where it affects the timeline appropriately. So let's go ahead and click on sketch. We're going to click on this front plane right here. Right click, hit view normal two, and then we're gonna click on text. So by using the text feature and clicking those uh, those two corners of our rectangle, we're gonna type in just a capital of our first initial. Let's go ahead and make it bold while we're at it. And let's go ahead and hit the green check mark. Okay, now a couple things we notice is that this A right here doesn't match up exactly in the middle, and that is okay. What we want is we want our letter to be completely in constrained or within the block. And so if it's not in the center, totally fine, but uh, if there's a little bit of an overhang where letters don't match up, what you're gonna have to do is change the dimensions of your cube, which I believe I'm gonna have to do for the letter W. So let's click on sketch, let's click on the side view, right click, hit view normal two again, like we've done before. We're gonna click on text, and we're gonna click on the two corners. Okay, so I'm gonna do our capital W, let's make it bold, hit the green check mark, and here's the problem we run into is that my initials goes past my block. So what we're gonna do is we're going to estimate and kind of see, all right, what actual length of my block do I need? So let's double click in this sketch. Let's hit D for dimension. And that length is 7.165 inches. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go back to my sketch and I'm gonna change the dimensions of my block. We know that this depth now needs to be 7.1 and some change. So I'm gonna do 7.25, hit the green check mark and we're looking good. So my front initial, still looking good. My side initial, we need to change now. So how do we change this? Well, when you use the text feature, automatically what it's gonna do is it's gonna throw in some geometric constraints. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on one of those and delete them, and it will automatically just delete all of them. Now we're looking much better. We notice that my W is now completely in my cube on both sides. So now I'm good to do my intersect. Hit the green check mark and now we are looking good. Okay, let's try this out. So I'm gonna click on extrude and I'm gonna extrude this A, but we're gonna flip it the other direction and we're gonna do intersect. So where does that letter A intersect with my block? And we're just gonna pull it all the way through and we got this A block right here. Hit the green check mark and now we're looking good. Okay, let's hit uh, extrude again. We're gonna extrude this W now. We're going to flip its direction, opposite direction, intersect, 
rather than a new add or remove, pull it all the way through, hit the green check mark, and now we are done. And so what we've done is we've now officially built the part for our initials where the front view is our first initial, the right is our last initial, and that's what that shape comes out to be overall. Okay, if you have any questions, comments, concerns on this, on this part, let me know. I think this is a really interesting piece. Uh, my students are gonna be making their own initials, and when we get time, teaching them how to use a 3D printer and uh, letting this do this on their own. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you need anything, let me know, throw in the comment section or however else you can reach me. Good luck, and I will see you on the next video.